Strikers. Get shotguns out, and welcome to a Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video leak and rumor and predictions and all that fun stuff that you guys love. But before we get into that, guys, I'm going to be telling you guys about my new schedule for videos and why I haven't been uploading as frequent as I normally do. Now, normally, I upload for one video like every other day or every day if I'm lucky. So, and the reason why I haven't been doing that is. Is I've been really like it may not seem like in my videos, but I'm actually a thinking person. Before I go to sleep, sleep well while I'm trying to sleep, I'm always thinking. Like thoughts are always running in my mind, and then some personal thoughts got in there, and I've been trying to get them out, but it's been failing terribly. It's not anything about this YouTube; it's all personal stuff. Uh, but I haven't really been on my A game with videos, if to say. But I'm. I'm ready to get back into the swing of things. I really am really bad at staying in the swing of things, aren't I? There's been so many times I've been out of it. But I got a trusty calendar I made myself right here. Now let's tell you all the schedule before we get into the leaks and information and all that stuff. The, so Mondays will be Minecraft days. Those are when Minecraft videos will come out. You'll expect to see them on Mondays. Tuesday's a break day. Tuesday is when I, I play some games, maybe record a few videos late for later in the week so I don't need to do it those days. Wednesdays are all Assassin's Creed. Unity, Dead King, I'm going to get back on those. Probably, hopefully getting four of the four videos of them out. I'm making no promises on that. That's my goal. Oh, four videos but videos of it that by two weeks maybe or halfway through the week. And then Thursday is going to be top fives. I'm bringing back top fives because I love doing top fives. And I feel like now that Advanced Warfare is sort of like in the middle of its prime, I feel like it'll be good. Next up, up on Fridays is Free For Alls. Y'all love Free For Alls, so I'm bringing them back. And Saturday is the break day. And then Sunday is a bit unique. Zombies. Whether it be Black Ops 2 zombies, Black Ops zombies, bees, or Exo zombies. Mainly Exo zombies and Exo zombies challenges because I love Exo so, no, I love like, zombies. I love zombies. Exo zombies is alright. I love zombies. I, I'm okay with exo zombies, but I will do challenges. And this doesn't mean like these are the only videos I will come out. I will be sprinkling in some like Black Ops videos and maybe throw a Minecraft video here or there. Just like these are just like things where you know, okay, vi this vi kind of video will be there. This kind of video will be there. And when you look at my uploads, you'll see, oh, maybe he uploaded another one. Let's check that one out too. So, yeah, enough of all that scheduling, let's get into Black Ops 3. Now, if you all don't know this already, Black Ops 3 is going to be futuristic. Me and my friends were hoping and praying it was a tease, but because of the Snapchat information, I think I've broken it down with the help of watching some of our YouTube videos and figuring out how this is going to work. Now, uh, let's start off with what led to this all futuristic. The leak which will be in the description should be low that happened on coldduty.com and it'll show you the, the picture of a soldier that's super cybernetic we'll get to that later on in the video you know and also this almost almost reminds me I'm um, in the background of this game play some black ops 2 Ooh, nuclear with no perks that's right no perks but enough of that let's get back to this all right all right so cold Duty. The Black Ops 3 is the first title for next-gen hardware in the critically acclaimed Black Ops series, developed by Treyarch, the award-winning creator of the most, two most played games in Call of Duty history. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 deploys players into a dark, twisted future where a new breed of Black Ops soldiers emerge and lines are blurred between our own humanity and the technical, technical technology we created to stay ahead. In a world where cutting-edge military robotics define warfare, in three unique game modes, campaign, multiplayer, and zombies. Bees, that came from the source code of the Call of Duty website for the trailer. Or now that's not it. Also, I'm pulling it out on my phone right about oh, now. On in a website, which will be in the description, it has like, it's basically all of like Black Ops 3, like leaks and rumors and all that. And I'm about to tell you guys some guns that might make into the games. Now, I have researched all these guns, and they are all possible. They're all actual guns. However, there's some in there that are hit or miss. So I'm going to no, just tell you guys the shotguns and the pistols, because a few of them stand 
stand out to me. And if they're actually a thing, I'll be glad to see them. And I'll leave the link in the description to that so you can can also see if you think they're, it's real or not. Uh, first off, the RAS-12, oh, the 6 12, the Sega 12, the KSG, the UTS 15, and the Origins 12. Now, all those 12s lead me to believe uh, it's not or it may not be real. Real. There's only two pump actions in there, and I think Treyarch might do a bit more, but that's a lot of shotguns right there. In fact, this whole list is a lot of guns. And, and also, interesting is they added in marksman rifles, which is weird. Are they going to do that? Who knows? Again, this is all speculation and rumor. Take this with a grain of salt. Next up is the pistols. The M93, the G11, not G11, G18, the SW500, Rhino Warrior, which are actual pistols, MP1522, and the TAC-15. Now, the funny thing is, the TAC-15 is not actually a pistol. It is actually a crossbow. Which leads me to believe maybe this is real. Attack 15, a crossbow. Maybe this is real. But hey, this could be someone with a clever idea to screw over a bunch of people. But, but again, it'll all be in the description. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Now, with all these Snapchat things, I'm not going to be showing you any Snapchats because God knows I probably get copyrights, right? Because YouTube loves to screw me over with that kind of stuff. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be telling you guys my ideas. Is that what the chat snapchats mean? What do they all mean? What do they lead up to? Now, basically, we were all thinking at first this is going to be a Vietnam era because we saw a lot of Vietnam things. Now, here's what I'm thinking: this Doctor Salem, which is a doctor that is a part of, that is basically documenting these things with Snapchat. What he is doing is he's creating a breed of cybernetic soldiers, almost like Deus Ex. If you guys ever played that game, basically what happens. Is that humans and soldiers they get a bionic upgrade right however some people are against that that and other people but are for it they want the bionic upgrade they want to get this increased power but others do not and what I think is with this new breed of black ops soldiers Jared, what it means is that you're gonna be playing in May Mason you're gonna be playing as Mason Mason's either son or relative or some something because it has been scientifically proven that it is possible to transfer genes over from one family member to another there so he could be be all these Vietnam things either could be Mason sin who's old as hell but you'll be seeing these flashbacks from um a like a Vietnam era era uh, or you'll be having a lot of Vietnam veterans right, be included in this program. Graham, or it's one of Mason's sort of sons who peop who they want to turn into one of these new bionic soldiers. And the weird thing is, is that in the teaser for Black Ops 3, there is this quote that Wood said where they're going to need soldiers like us. And what I believe this means, and other YouTubers believe, is that uh, the other soldiers mean the flesh soldiers, the soldiers that have their own thoughts, not all these drones, not all these cyborgs. You need soldiers like Mason. You need soldiers just like that. People have their own free thinking and can adapt to certain situations, not restricted to just programming. And I really, really think this could be sort of, sort of like a style where. You are starting off. Now, I'm not playing any of your code I'm not just passing off anything or not. What happens is you start off with the cyber, cyber Bennett company. You are Mason. Mason. And you are sort of overwatching this. As a retired with so soldier, you are overwatching this. This and seeing all this. And you want to get back into a battle, into the battlefield. More war is coming. So you get into battle that you do not believe. So, you get to not have your brain in your database <laughs> you cybernetic. So what you do, do as Mason is you realize that that is cybernetic and evil behind 
in Dr. Salem and all these people trying to see Our UAV is online. To try to not only win the war from the Black Ops side, side of Black Ops soldier, but you're also trying to get to the bottom of this cybernetic world. Our UAV is online. What is behind all the side cybernetic things. So this is a Robocop. They can control your thoughts. Like, if the soldier human part of you die, they can take control as a like, bot, like an AI perspective. <laughs> Enemy UAV online! I, UAV I in wait. Think sounds really complicated as I put it. If you got them any questions, I'll bring the UAV above. Saying, it's easy on the can be low, low, but I think it's something, something like that. Maybe it's a one of the factors. Maybe that's it. Maybe it'll be an internal war, not really an external war. Friendly assault war, drone in action. Civil war. Two sides of the country. Pushing from one part of USA to the other. One wants to have you use cybernetics, others don't. I actually, right now, want to play the Black Ops campaign so I can be up to date. Because just me talking about this is getting me excited to what could possibly Friendly bombing happen. one clearing the way. Obviously, I can be dead wrong to all the speculation in my thinking. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys like it and you can see the UAV above. Also, if you channel potential, the same buttons. And we have to check out and leave a comment below what you want to see Black Ops 3. And with this cybernetic thing, I don't think there will be excess, which would please a lot of people. Keep me in the future. UAV recon standing by. Still get Our UAV is online. But anyway, I'll see you later.